you start with this concept? <laughs> so originally, I uh, I guess I was thinking about growing up and riding go karts around and how exciting it was just to kind of make something that day and ride it and crash it and build it again and just um, just the fun of being close to the ground, going fast. And, and you know, I'm a lifelong cyclist. I've raced for years and. I always thought the trike, when I used to see them, was more like a, kind of like a go-kart, you know, just like a, a fun, low to the ground, uh, rocket ship of a ride. And I got kind of inspired from a design aspect, because I'm an architect, just to tinker with the, the concept. Because a lot of the trikes that I saw designed were, um, seemed very, um, they didn't have enough sex appeal in my mind. I guess they were very functional and very worked very well. They didn't have enough, I don't know, I just, I just, I wanted to see some more curves, I guess. And that was the thing that attracted me most was, was the uh, was the overall shape of things uh, and how they went together. The shock system on the seat. I don't know what your inspiration was. Had you ever ridden uh, a Rotoma trike? I had never ridden a trike, and, and through the design process, I started getting really interested and in, in just kind of obsessed with wanting to ride one. So I I chatted with some folks online and found somebody you know in Connecticut. And, Actually drove down and rode around on it and got kind of inspired again to dig a little deeper and you know there was obviously a lot of engineering involved because I wanted to make sure it had the, the proper steering uh, center point steering so I got the caster angle and the incl incl inclination right um, you know I got the little spreadsheet from Ricky Horowitz 15 years ago online. Well, we talked about Rick and I think you had mentioned the steering uh, and this com componentized section here was probably where Ricky was most influential. Yeah, you know, he had a little spreadsheet, which is a real simple thing, but it, it told you, uh, you know, uh, what angle uh, these had to be. I mean, this is basically a geometry to make sure this hits the point uh, where the wheel hits the ground, but also what angle leans back makes the most sense to have the steering snap back in the center point. And also, he gave me the information, I think, for the, the length of uh, the stem where this connection point is and how long this line is and what the angle uh, to that connection point needs to be. And it basically was an adjustment. If you, you adjust one, you know, and the other thing would change. It was a spreadsheet, and it was very helpful to test different geometries. Because I tested a couple different things. I actually was designing a, a steering system that would do this, where you'd want to turn and right, you, you would right. lean it and it would shift um, the linkages underneath. This up here is, is, uh, is a novel uh, yeah. Up here. Had you ever seen anything like this? No. So um, I, I knew I wanted. Um, to, I knew I had to have uh, the front derailleur hanger somewhere, but for some reason, the just the straight up tube just seemed a little awkward to me. So I wanted to do something a little more um, that blended with the curves of the trike. And I originally had just a plate steel here, a plate uh, piece of aluminum. But I also wanted places to mount lights and things, but. Uh, uh, when Frank the welder got a hold of it, who was the welder for this, he was a famous bike builder. He was the first gentleman ever to build mountain bikes out of aluminum, and he built one for Missy Tomac or, and uh, Missy Jovi and Tom Tomac. I forgot the guys' names, but the, the famous first mountain bikers. He built their bikes, and he just happened to be local and uh, or semi-local, and took on the challenge. And uh, he he ended up hammering this uh, out of. Um, Thin aluminum and folded it into this shape and welded it into this beautiful form. So, so all of this, uh, uh, all these brackets then had to be custom made. Yes, yep. This uh, is this piece is custom made. Uh, the stem is custom made. Uh, these are just these are made independently. But uh, these these uh, this is the only part of steel on here. This is chromoly here, uh, and the kingpins are made custom. And he had these plates that he made custom, cut holes in them, and did a really beautiful job on that. So everything is aluminum. You said it had been heat treated as well. Yeah, yep, we heat treated it after the fact because you, can, you pretty much have to do that with aluminum. Well, I'm going to have fun with this. I just uh, just attended a uh, hot rod uh, show or run in Pigeon Forge and uh, this is going to be in some, some shows. Gonna be in some I want to get the, the flat tire fixed first. <laughs> I think I'll leave it like that. <laughs> was there ever any other color that you had anticipated, and, and why the yellow? Yeah. Um, 
I don't know, I've always had a thing for yellow and black, bumblebee kind of thing, I'm not sure, but I did do a bunch of tests. I did uh, studies in, in all sorts of colors. I had thought about blue at one point, and then I was just going to do like a matte black, which wasn't popular at the time. It was hard to get, actually get at the, at the time when I was doing it 15 years ago, but um, uh, for some reason the, the, the contrast of the yellow and the, of the black carbon just uh, seemed to work out. And you know, I guess it's the designer in me, but I wanted to be able to accessorize, and black was an easy, easy uh, color to get to kind of blend everything together. Sir, so was a fun project. First, it was design, then it was rendering, and then you know, I realized after I got going on this thing that I said I could probably build this thing. So I started doing some research how I could actually get it, get it to happen, and um, uh, the, the carbon fiber seat was the was the. Uh, big challenge for me I mean it was it was a real fun thing there was a lot of learning involved 2003 is when I completed it the first step was for me to figure out what geometry I wanted to see I saw a couple seats online I liked but I thought this design lended itself to having um, a longer uh, lower look to it um, and to keep the aerodynamic feel I had going I the back seat was a place that I could actually hang a saddlebag from if I wanted to or it also kept the water off my back. Um, but the, the form I made out of plywood and Bondo and, and got the shape and, and was laying back, got some photographs of me sitting in certain positions to find out what the most comfortable riding position would be for my hands, for my, you know, that's how I located the steering and the handlebar grips and um, all those pieces uh, came into play with the geometry then into CAD. And then I printed out full size drawings to make the seat to scale. Uh, I made it out of Bondo and I made a negative out of uh, fiberglass and um, with a resin on the inside so it had a smooth finish on the final coat which is the top coat. Mm -hmm. um, then you use Kevlar for the, for the in innards of it to keep it nice and strong and then carbon fiber as the out outer cover to keep it lightweight and looking pretty cool. I actually had pros put the final coat of fiberglass or carbon fiber on here. I did the rest of it and they put the last coat on pros so they could gel coat it just right so it came out uh, looking nice. Well I talked to you about the mold. I'm hoping uh, someday we can get together on the mold. Yeah, that would uh, be great. I, I don't anticipate reproducing the trike. What I would like to do is to is to really have a nice display. Uh, I build canopies for the trikes and the, they uh, they can themselves attract an, a good sized audience, but I think when you have such a diversified display, uh, a trike like this is really it's really a natural I think for people who are interested in in equipment. Yeah. Sure was a eye catcher driving around. People seemed to gather around and what the heck are you riding around in? Well, I think what you experienced was probably the newness of the trike. In, in circles I travel, it would be the newness of design beyond just being a trike, you see. Right. So I think, I think what, what, what my audience is, is likely going to experience is, a, is another level of ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just, uh, I don't even know where, where to go um, with, uh, with questions. Uh, it's just a beautiful piece of work and I'm, uh, I'm real proud to, uh, to own this I thing. I appreciate right? it. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm hoping you get as much enjoyment as I, as I did, and uh, I hope she lives a nice, uh, long, happy life. We're going to load this thing up, and uh, I'm going to take it back to Tennessee. Mark Power. Very sweet. That's pretty interesting. Check out that steering. Yeah. That is a. Uh, that is really worth the part. That's a, something very similar to ice. Um, if you can look at that spread X in there, it's pretty close. So, what, what does this bar up here remind you? Uh, green speed arrow. Yeah, exactly. It's just early 2000.
Yeah. Early, he finished it in 2003. The same thing back here in the in the back, you know, the, that crossover yeah. just ain't there. Yeah, no, he did a pretty nice job. Crazy, to, I mean, that seat's there. It's, it's amazing, he has a great way. He didn't do anything with it. Hmm. There's a, uh, there's a bushing under here as well. Just a little... Yeah, we have the steering dial, man. There's no doubt about that. 